Hi, I'm Dr. Head and I'm an anesthesiologist. Today I'm going to show you how to intubate using a GlideScope B-Flex 3.8mm scope with a GlideScope Core 15 monitor and a 35 French double lumen endotracheal tube. The techniques in this video are my own. Please consult your owner and maintenance manual prior to using this product. We can use the B-Flex 3.8mm single-use scope for intubating double lumen tubes size 35 French and larger. It's also helpful for confirming tube placement after intubation. This technique may be used in the operating room for thoracic surgery procedures or in the intensive care unit if a patient needs lung isolation. I'm now going to remove the B-Flex 3.8mm scope from its packaging. All B-Flex scopes come with two protective sheets, one over the insertion tube and one at the top of the scope. You need to keep the insertion tube as straight as possible with using the B-Flex. Before I intubate any tube, I want to make sure that the insertion tube of the B-Flex is lubricated properly. I like to just use some lubrication spray. I'm now ready to insert the B-Flex into the double lumen tube. You want to keep your thumb away from the lever to keep the distal tip in a neutral position before loading the endotracheal tube. Now I can continue to advance my B-Flex through the endotracheal tube and I'm able to load my endotracheal tube to the top of the scope using its tube retainer. The last step before I intubate my patient is I need to connect my scope to the Core 15 monitor using the Quick Connect cable. Now I can see the image on the Core 15 monitor and I can go ahead and start intubating my patient. Now I'm gonna use my B-Flex scope to visualize the cords and I'm gonna use my lever to flex up the distal tip of the scope and enter into the trachea. Now I'm advancing my scope down the trachea. I'm gonna remove my thumb from the lever to maintain the scope in neutral position before I offload the scope from the tube retainer and advance it slowly into the patient's trachea. Now I'm gonna slowly remove my scope from the endotracheal tube, again ensuring that I've kept my scope in neutral position. If I run into any issues retracting the scope, I can inject some saline down the endotracheal tube to help it remove more easily. To confirm position of the endotracheal tube, I'm now going to advance the scope down the tracheal port, and I can reposition the endotracheal tube as needed to get it in the appropriate place. Now my endotracheal tube is appropriately positioned, and I can remove the B-flex scope from the double lumen tube, slowly retracting it and keeping it in neutral position. Now the patient's been successfully intubated and the placement of the tube has been confirmed using the B-Flex scope. 